Uh, no, I'm divorced, so I wear it as just a ring ring. <laughs> <laughs> no one would love me enough to give me a big old knocking ring like that. Mm -hmm. uh, although I, it has hurt Ouch. my single, oh, look. I understand. All right. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, Russell, they're talking like you're the new sex symbol. How, how do you react to this? Who is? Oh, uh, you know, there's some stuff. You know, you're showing uh, yourself in this movie. Well, I mean, girls and stuff. Yeah, girls and you stuff. You got any phone numbers or anything, man? Well, I'm getting some for myself. Oh, well, you know, just keep your old mate in mind when you're taking the numbers down, would you? Because <laughs> well, what, you what happens? You, you were sh you're, you're following the Mel Gibson tradition of showing the, the I don't know if it's your best side, but it's the A side. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, well, I think it's unavoidable when you get born in a movie that uh, you know you have to be naked to, to do. Arnold that, Schwarzenegger you know. was that in Terminator, if you remember. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, is that fun to do? What to be born? To be born on screen. Um, yeah, I suppose in a way it was. You know, um, flopping around a little bit of birth fluid and stuff <laughs> coming out of the egg. Yeah, yeah, it was enjoyable. I think it's very funny. A real good sense of humor they used on the Saturday night fever thing. Uh -huh. Walking like Travolta, that had to be a trip. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a little joke that me and Brett came up with at about six o'clock in the morning one night when we were delirious during a night shoot and we actually made it into a reality. So we, we had that playback going when we shot that that moment. You know, But then uh, Brett had the big job of, of trying to convince the studio to pay the amount of money to get the rights to use the song, but he managed to do it. Well, luckily it was their film. Luckily. Yeah, that helped. It was very funny. Mm -hmm. I did appreciate that. Cool. This guy's a pretty evil man. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like Extremely. dark. Yeah. Is there anything good about him? I don't think so, really. He's no. pretty much one-dimensionally bad, isn't he? Uh, no, he's not one-dimensionally bad. He's, he's 30, 367 he's, dimensions bad, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's very bad. But the thing about Sid is he has no conscience. He has no regret, no guilt, none of those sort of human things that we carry around. So he's just enjoying the hell out of what he's doing. You know, evil to him is not something that there's a division about. You know, evil is normal. What was it like facing off with Denzel? He's a pretty serious guy. Oh, yeah, wonderfully serious. I mean, I think just the fact that Denzel is playing the hero character in the film, Parker Barnes, uh, takes this film immediately away from any um, purely action genre sort of thing. You know, he brings such a depth to, to um, you know, the backstory of that character and to the performance. And we had a wonderfully open relationship and um, very collaborative and constructive, you know, and competitive. But competitive for the best idea, you know, and I think uh, you're always um, really lucky when you get into a relationship like that with a fellow actor, you know. He just saw it I, and I, I heard him speaking to Brett. I'm sitting across the other side of the room and I can hear his, him yelling, you know, <laughs> on the phone about just how much he enjoyed the, the film, which is, that's good to know, you know. It's a, he likes to be in these, I call them a scenery chewing scenes. When you get to yell at each other and do all that, he did it so well in Crimson Tide, and he's done it well in this movie, too. Mm -hmm. It has to be fun as an actor to get into those kind of things, real intense oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and uh, you know, Brett creates a wonderful platform for everyone to perform from as well. You know? So uh, it's good. I mean, all the characters in this film have a, a real drive and a, and a purpose, you know. So uh, the motivations are very easy to lock into. Are you a computer-friendly guy or computer-scared? Well, um, computer illiterate, and quite you know, quite stupid when it comes to using them. But I, you know, I have a couple, and I, I'm getting better. But you know, um, it's not. I'm not in the dweeb. You kind of have to these days. You have to kind of. You got You got to get it. Sink together or swim it. Yeah, now. You know. Yeah. I mean, my mum and dad are still sitting around trying to work out how to use a CD player. You know. Um, and I don't want to be in that situation when I get a little bit crusty around the edges. You know? But I bet Sill could never even still do a VCR. Sid. Sid. Sid 6.7, right? Correct. So did Sil is the uh, monster the species. in species, but Sil, Sid must be a sister. Uh, <laughs> could still probably not do the VHS recorder where you have to time it. And program oh, it. nobody can. Yes. <laughs> that's, not, that's not an invention for humans. It's got something to do with somebody who's arriving later on. I see. And you're meeting Cheers, you finally. Thank you. All right. We're going to see you again anytime soon?